Welcome back to the GCN Tech Clinic with the idea behind it to help answer and solve your technical bike problems that you may have come up with. So let's crack on with the first question this week and it's from Derek Kong who says they have some Dura Ace C24 wheels which have quite narrow rims. So they've got a 15 millimeter internal width and a 20.8 external. They're thinking of getting some wider aluminum Hunt race area wheels which are 18 millimeters internal and 23 millimeters external for when not using the Sunday best. What issues do I foresee in swapping between the two sets? Right, well, Derek, well, both sets of those are really nice pairs of wheels. Now, certainly those wider wheels basically are more in trend at the moment for two reasons, uh, for comfort as well as for speed or aerodynamics. So as for any problems that you may well encounter, well, possibly, depending on how much clearance you've got with your forks and your brake calipers, you may have some rubbing. However, unless they're very, very tight clearances at the moment, you should be okay. But do check in actually with Hunt to see what they recommend because they're likely to know a lot more about the compatibility than I will, I'm afraid, on that. Um, now, those wider wheels will actually work better with 25 or 28 millimeter tires, which again, tend to be the more uh, in vogue or certainly aerodynamic and comfortable use tires at the moment. So, yeah, you should be able to use both of those. What you may need to do though, because I actually have this on a couple of pairs of my wheels, that some of the wheels have a wider rim than the others, you just turn the barrel adjuster of the brake caliper itself to just take up any differences. Next up is a question from NZL Kevin 88 who says, when a spoke breaks at the nipple, the nipple ends up inside the rim. How do I get it out? I have tubeless tape and don't want to remove all of it. Ah, what a nightmare, he's broken a spoke and that nipple is inside of the rim. Right, let's look at the bigger picture here. Um, I suppose you could remove your tire and slowly rotate the actual rim and hope that the nipple falls out of the valve hole and you can insert one back in and rotate that rim and then it falls back inside of the hole in the rim for the spoke nipple. However, that is not going to work. Certainly, it's not going to work without taking a lot of time and patience and possibly involving magnets and all sorts of things like that. So if I were you, Kevin, I would actually bite the bullet here and remove the tubeless tape and just put one of those spoke nipples in the simple and conventional way. Now we've got a cable problem from Pen to Port, who says they lost the Tiagra rear derailleur cable anchor assembly. Can they use either a Dura Ace or Ultegra cable anchor assembly for the replacement? Right, now you should, from memory, be able to use the same assembly from a Dura Ace 9000 or Ultegra 6800 rear derailleurs uh, because they use the same style of uh, clamp assembly there. However, with the latest, so the uh, R8000 and the 9100 from Dura Ace, I am not that sure because they do actually have the cable route slightly different from those older and previous generations. This really is where you're best off going down to a local bike shop and having a rummage around in a little parts box and see basically what they've got down there. So likely they'll have a nut, a washer and a bolt assembly that will do the job and exchange for probably a packet of chocolate biscuits or something like that. Next up, a question from David Chapman who says, hi John, great vlog. I'm not sure it's a vlog, David, but thank you anyway. Uh, can you use a 10 speed chain set with an 11 speed chain? Right, so let's remember then that the cog spacing on a cassette of 11 speed cassette is slightly narrower than that of a 10 speed cassette. And then if we go forward to the chain set, the spacing generally between each chain ring is slightly wider on most chain sets. However, the chain rings remain largely the same width as a 10 speed. Uh, so yeah, you can use an 11 speed chain on a 10 speed chain set. I do it myself, works absolutely fine. Now we have a question from Tommy Saranen who says, Hi John, my entry level road bike has a three speed front shifter with two rings up front. When I shift to the bigger ring, I have to press the lever twice for it to shift or the other way around. Can I just get a new two speed shifter and get rid of the annoying problem? Right, Tommy, good to hear from you. Now I'm gonna assume that you're using Shimano here and that basically that click is meant to be there. Why? Well, it's to get rid of the annoying problem you may get or you may associate with chain rub. So basically by having that extra click, 
you just move over the front derailleur a little bit before the next click puts it onto the big ring. And then again, if you were to be cross chaining, so the big chain ring and the biggest sprocket at the rear, so the one with the most teeth, that would give you an annoying sound too. So a little press of that inner lever would then eradicate that chain rub. Next press would get it down onto the small chain ring. So I think that could well be your problem. If it is uh, an actual, a triple chain set specific lever you've got there, then yeah, you can actually buy a double chain set uh, lever, shift lever. And Matt Boldwater wants to know, uh, they are usually irritated by the newbie questions, but whoa, they think they have a newbie question. Will a Shimano road shifter or brake lever for a triple chain ring crank set work on a 105 or Tegra double chain set, assuming that the limit screws are set on the derailleur properly? Thanks in advance. Right, Matt, well, no question is a newbie question really because everybody has to start somewhere. Now the good news is you can do this, although it's not something I would strictly recommend. So the way in which I would do it would be to use the middle position of that left-hand shifter for the inner chain ring. And then obviously the uh, furthest setting is gonna be for the outer chain ring. Now the risk you are going to run into with this is that the lever mechanisms can jam up with that because obviously you're asking the lever to do something it's not designed for. Uh, personally, I would probably have a look around on the secondhand market and see if you can find yourself one of those odd levers because when people crash, they tend to sell the one lever that's not been damaged. So just have a little look around for that instead. Right now, Patrick wants to know, what could be the reason for a quite loud rattling chain noise whilst riding in the big ring, a 50 tooth? in the front and the 13, 14, 16 and 18 tooth sprockets in the rear. The noise appears to come from the chain ring. Altegra 8000, adjustments is fine uh, and there's no scratching now whatsoever. Could it simply be the sound of the chain hitting the chain ring? Right, Patrick, really good question here because I don't like a rattle on a bike. Uh, first thing I would do is get the bike in a work stand or lift it off of the ground. That way you can slowly turn around your cranks and actually listen carefully for where that noise is coming from, as well as visually inspecting at the same time. Uh, now, it could well be that your chain isn't compatible, so maybe you've changed it for something else. Now, most chains, believe me, they do work fine although they can be quite noisy. And also, interestingly enough, I have found that some of the latest generations of Shimano group sets have given a little bit more noise than the earlier ones. So just bear that in mind too. Uh, finally, go out for a little ride, but this time not with your cycling shoes. Just use a normal pair of shoes and have a little ride along and see if that affects it because it could well be a cleat which is giving a noise. Only at a certain cadence, bikes are weird and wonderful things and sometimes these little noises we have, we don't know where they're coming from and it could be the strangest place of all. So yeah, just really get the bike off the ground and have a good close look at exactly what's going on. And make sure as well that your jockey wheels are not rubbing anywhere near the cassette too. Now, Bogdan Voyanek, uh, they say they've got a cable question. They bought some cables from a huge online name and after changing the cables and outers, it feels like the lever doesn't feel that slick as before when shifting. Feels like it's holding some resistance when pulling the lever, although it shifts pretty much perfect. It kind of annoys me. Right, I can sympathize with you on that one, Bogdan, because when something's not right, it's just not right. So, uh, firstly, check the actual outer cables and where they go into the uh, either the components or the ferrules, make sure they're nice and snug in there and that there's no sort of free movement there whatsoever. Uh, also, Go under the hoods, literally. So under the bar tape and actually check to make sure that those cables are fully inserted into the actual gear shifters or brake shifters and make sure that again, they're not moving around in there. Sometimes that can give you quite poor shifting and braking. Um, and now something else which can happen is if you've cut the cable and it's not a really smooth, clean cut, is that the inner coil of cable or the spiral bound can actually uh, overlap where your cable is gonna go and that can rub and give you not quite that good shifting or braking. So get yourself the end of a ballpoint biro, put it in there and just enlarge that hole and hopefully we'll have solved that problem for you. Good luck with that one, Bogdan. Next up is from Frank Alberts who asks, hi John, I'm planning on painting my bike and a gold chain would fit the style. The problem is I have an eight speed and gold chain start at nine speed. Is it still possible to use on an eight speed bike? Right, everybody loves a gold chain, don't they? 
I think. I'm not entirely sure what I think about gold chains, but apart from that. Anyway, so let's actually recap on this. Eight and nine speed cassette sprockets are the same thickness, so the same width, and then eight and nine speed chains have the same internal width as one another, so those internal links are exactly the same width. So can you tell where I'm going with this one, Frank? It's gonna work. You can have yourself one of those nine speed gold chains on your eight speed transmission. And I'll tell you what, you need to take a picture of that bike when it's being finished sprayed and you've got that gold chain on, send it in and maybe, just maybe, it'll get super nice in the bike vault. Now, Daniel Lopez, uh, they won a pair of Dura Ace brake shoe sets, so the BR9000s. Can they put them on their Tiagra 4600 rim brakes? Will they match? Right, Daniel, if it's a complete set of brakes there, so that's the actual uh, brake pad, the shoes, all the bolts and everything like that, then yes, they will go on. If it's not, if it's just the actual rubber inserts themselves, then they won't work with the 4600 Tiagra brake, brake blocks because from memory, those 4600 brake blocks are actually just uh, a one piece bit of rubber with a nut kind of molded internally into it, which bolted onto your calipers. However, those uh, BR9000 pads are gonna give you much better braking than the 4600 one. So if it's just the pads, you can actually find the shoes fairly, relatively cheap and actually make that little upgrade for better braking. All right, I hope that you've enjoyed this week's tech clinic and I've been able to help answer your problem. If I've not, then make sure you leave it down there in the comments section down below and hopefully I'll be able to get round to it and answer it in a forthcoming episode. Now do remember as well to like and share this video with your friends, particularly if they've had one of those problems that we've just helped solve. And also remember to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com where we have a whole heap of goodies, cycle clothing, accessories, all sorts of bits and pieces. And now for another great video, this time the latest GCN Maintenance Monday, click just down here.